The following clip contains a lost interview with Supreme Court Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. and Remy Good Porter. Good afternoon, Mr. Holmes Jr. My name is Remy Porter, owner of the R. Porter newspaper, and I know you're a very busy man. However, I was wondering if I could ask you a couple questions specifically around your court decisions over the last few years, starting with Shank versus the United States. I suppose I can answer a few questions for you. Excellent. Uh, thank you very much. I'll jump right into it then. So, people around America have been very affected by the controversial decision you made in the Schenck case a couple years ago. Could you explain what you meant by the fear of a clear and present danger? Well, Mr. Porter, I believe the precedent pretty much speaks for itself. The law should always be changing. One could never expect that the law could account for every scenario at all times. The world around us is always changing, and so shouldn't the law be as well? And this case is the perfect example. While freedom of speech is a very important part of our rights, they should never inflict on the well-being of the greater population. Shank's opposition to the draft could have done this very easily. It could have caused serious damage to the war effort, and also could have just affected the health of our country in general. And so, he had to deal with the consequences of his actions. I see. But how can you explain your decision later in the Abrams versus the United States case, where you emphasized a marketplace of ideas? It sort of seems to conflict with your decision earlier based on a restriction on free speech in the Schenck case. On the contrary, I believe they go hand in hand. In the Abrams case, there was a very specific difference between the prosecution there and with Schenck. Schenck was being tried for his speech, while Abrams was being tried for his beliefs. As long as there is no danger that comes from what someone is saying, all beliefs must be respected. Americans coexist together and share new ideas every day and it is our job as citizens to respect these ideas as long as they are harmless to the greater population. But you do understand how these court cases have caused large amounts of chaos among citizens. Has history been changed in any other way before? It is my duty as a Supreme Court judge to uphold the law in the best way I see fit, and so that is exactly what I am doing. I do understand that in the past there has never been this much debate surrounding the First Amendment, however this may also be because it has never had to be debated before. The last case of this ever happening was in the abolition times when pro-slavery advocates would try to shut down the abolitionist newspapers, which was well over 50 years ago. Like I have always believed, we are a country that has to adapt over time as we learn from experience and change as we must. It is an experiment, as all life is an experiment. Well, these are some very bold beliefs, and yes, I do agree that this is how history is created over time. Do you believe that you have made a lasting impact on history? Yes, I do believe I have. This precedent for the First Amendment will now be what future judges look back on when they have similar cases of their own, and there will always be more cases like this. We as Americans have always valued one thing, and that is our rights. The controversy over these decisions proves it. The citizens naturally want their rights, and these values will never really change. But instead of valuing the ability to use these rights, they now value protecting them. In my book, The Common Law, I wrote that we should protect the interest of the majority population, and now that is how politics will be handled. And how do you feel if people do not agree with you? Then so be it. They can take what I have to say, or they can leave it. Of course. Well, I would like to thank you very much for your time, Mr. Holmes Jr., and I hope that you are able to continue doing the work that you do for us. Thank you very much. I plan on doing so.